Hi, welcome to another episode of PDTV. Today we're at Canyon Creek Elementary for our Leading School Summit. We have over 50 principals attending today to learn and network with each other. Hi, I'm Justin Brooksby with Utah Education Network and I'm here with Darren Hudgens today. Appreciate you joining us. Thanks, I'm excited about it. Well, I wanted to sit down and talk with you about one of the, it's not the latest thing we're doing in Utah, but this is our second year doing it. It's something called Leading Schools and um, we're happy to have it back this year. And I want to just take some time and have you tell us a little bit about what Leading Schools is. We felt that teachers were getting a lot of professional development. We felt that um, higher level district leaders had the opportunity to go and do uh, other um, professional development opportunities. And that principals were kind of stuck in the middle. They had to be in their buildings. They had to manage. They were getting both um, uh, had, had both top down and bottom up uh, folks kind of oh. flexing their their needs and they were not uh, getting professional development. So uh, we built leading schools uh, for them in mind and then eventually as, as time came on we found that uh, all school leaders, uh, school leadership, really could uh, use a lot of the um, components or tenets of, of what it was built around. So it kind of evolved from mm -hmm. one thing to another, and now it's kind of its, its own aspect. Is this something you've done in multiple states mm -hmm. besides yeah. Utah? Yeah, absolutely. We started it in Raleigh, North Carolina. Uh, had wonderful success, uh, feedback from that, learned a little bit. Uh, we did it then a, another time in uh, up in Boston, uh, Massachusetts, uh, and then again got the same uh, real positive feedback. Uh, we're able to do it a, a second time in Boston, then in Portland, Oregon. Both of those, again, continue to get this really positive feedback. You got the wonderful opportunity to bring it um, to uh, Salt Lake City last year. And uh, I, again, I think why we're here uh, talking about this one uh, was because uh, people are, are finding they're getting what they need. Yeah, after we had it last year, I started getting emails from principals who said they really enjoyed it. It was yeah. the best professional development they've ever received. Yeah. And I was like, wow, this is something that we're going to have to do again. So yeah. we're excited for that. Maybe you can tell us what, what kind of things will principals get from leading school? What will they be taking back to their class, yeah. to their buildings? What we really want to try to do at leading schools in a short amount of time, get to the core of what makes leaders um, really, really good. And that you may not be able to be that particular leader. Like, um, you know, if I'm... Uh, I believe in Franklin Delano Roosevelt or something, and, and I wanted to take and try to be him and have fireside chats and try to do all these types of things. Maybe I don't have the personality to do that, but I can learn how did he communicate to uh, folks. Um, he, you know, we could go on down the line of, of all kinds of leaders. They all have different approaches. Some are introvert, some are extrovert, but what is that core? So that's one of the tenets, is how can we teach uh, people to be more effective leaders? through getting the core of others. Um, a second thing that we really try to do is expand horizons. We know typically leaders are in buildings kind of in their own silo or in their district. They only get strategies um, from that area. And so how can we expand on and give them other things that they can use? Everybody likes things in their tool belt. Um, everybody likes uh, opportunities to go back to their district and things that I can use like right now. Uh, that's a second tenet then, is expanding those horizons. Um, uh, another thing that leaders don't get to do, we find very often, is reflection. Um, I always bring out the quote all the time, you know, John Dewey always has said, the only way we learn is through uh, reflection. And so how can we give them time to metacognate on what they do, what others do, how do they get better, um, how do they learn from their mistakes. And then uh, the last thing is really about networking. How do we, again, if we're in kind of our own pockets, we have our own biases, how can we get you out to meet other people um, that might get you a way out of those challenges? Um, those are really the four core elements and then built inside of that, we want them to see different spaces, um, spaces of innovation, not sometimes in schools, the way schools are built, but a lot of times in the business world because that's where we're trying to you know, have kids go and be successful. Uh, another component is just how do, you, um, how do you take a challenge? Um, so in this case, we use design thinking. 
um, as a way to uh, a strategy to, to build a system to get you to get out of it again. They talked about some of those biases. So um, I could go on and on and on about there's other layers of things that we try to do. There's both covert and overt, but that's that's really um, it's a really action-packed day. You're not sitting a lot. You're out doing stuff, and um, I think that's where we found the success. So I have been a principal for um, nine years. I'm starting my ninth year. And I was returning to elementary school principalship and I was in my fifth year in Utah. I moved from Arizona to Utah. And I had done a great deal of professional development and leading school activities in Arizona. And I had kind of been buried in my building and I was looking, I was searching for like, I, I'm at a charter school and you don't have a cohort in the district and you don't have a group of people that you can call and say, help me, <laughs> you're alone. So I actually went looking for some type of training in my own professional development and found leading schools. Um, and then I came to the training and was like reinvigorated with like, oh, oh yeah, I remember why I did this. I remember why I chose administration. Um, and like, I guess kind of refound my passion for education um, and professional development. So I did instructional coaching for a lot of years and I worked for an outside company as a model teacher for quite a while. And I, I just loved PD, and I always have loved PD, but I literally took like five years and did no PD because I didn't have time. I was too busy and embedded in my building. So leading schools really reintroduced me and put me back in it. So this year when they looked for model teachers, I was like, yes, please, yes, please. And the content has been similar but different because the conversations with the people at your table who are in the trenches with you, you get to have a cohort that I haven't ever had before while in Utah. So yeah, that's, that's essentially what, what brought me to it and why I chose it. I think the aspects of leading schools that I really enjoy is one, principals are not given very much time or, in my opinion, opportunity to collaborate, to be trained, to professionally develop themselves. Uh, leading schools provides a, a avenue for principals to come together, just administrators, and talk about the issues that are relevant to leading schools, which I think is really important it, um, to train principals to have the support they feel they need to be successful in their schools, generally speaking, and, and the opportunity to come and sit and learn from other schools. I'm from a rural school, so being able to sit down with someone from a suburban or urban school and realize their challenges are similar to mine uh, is validating to me realizing that I'm not alone in my, in my struggles, but also allows me to get ideas of things they're trying that I hadn't even thought of that can be applied to my school. So there's just a lot of value in sitting down with administrators from all over the state and sharing best practice. I think leading schools is a really good place for networking and for hearing from other people that you're not alone and that they're having the same exact experiences that you are. I just had a conversation in one of the um, collaboration tools inside of leading schools that the principal described to me almost an identical situation that I had this year and we were able to like brainstorm about it and then also talk about like how did you solve it? What did you do with it? How did you get support? You know, you just break down the problem because it's going to come up again <laughs> and it's going to be you know, reiterated, but that hearing that you're not alone, because I think sometimes you get overwhelmed in your building by yourself, um, and that that's huge for me. Um, another another factor is that I think it's leaders are learners and always should be learners, in my opinion. I think that if you're not moving forward and you're not growing, it's hard to expect your staff and it's hard to expect your students to be learning and growing as well. So, I think. I think we forego professional development as principals because we have so many managerial jobs to do. Um, and in a charter, you're a superintendent, really. So um, this, this opportunity to fill your bucket and to give back to you what you need to learn and what you can gain from it, I think that's so important. I think Utah principals should attend leading schools simply for the fact that, again, it's an opportunity to sit down with administrators in an environment where we're not hindered by phone calls from parents or we're not being interrupted by all those things, generally that we can sit and work with our peers and learn from each other in an in a organized and structured way that allows us to really uh, come up with those ideas, uh, those thoughts, processes that normally we wouldn't get sitting in our office trying to, to problem solve on our own. I, I feel like this is a training that's applicable to any 
principal, it doesn't matter whether you're over a charter school or a public school, an elementary, middle, or high school, the, the ideas or concepts that are being taught here aren't for a level or a, a type, it's just how, are we, how, to, how to be a good leader. How do you lead an, an organization, a group, and especially schools, it, you know, I, I really appreciated that. And if you had to maybe say there's one or two things that you wish principals got from the mm -hmm. Ladies School Summit, what would those one or two things be? There's so many things. I, I, I would say, not to overdo the point, you're not alone. Um, I think that's one of the main things. This, this, you're not alone in, there's people out there who've done things and handled these challenges in a way that you can learn from. Um, you're not alone and there's people here to support you, again, uh, whether that's UEN, whether that's the people who participate, whether that's the Friday Institute, whoever um, here, we want to make it a community. Um, and then as a leader, you are um, directly in control of your culture and you have to believe that. And the, the little things that you do um, have a huge impact on your teachers, your parents, your students. and. Um, the more nuanced you can be at that, the more understanding you can have of who you are and what you believe in. Um, and then when you, and be able to say, these are my weaknesses. Um, I have other people who can help me with them. I think that's, they leave with that um, definitely success. Well, I appreciate you taking these few minutes to mm -hmm. talk with us about leading schools and yeah. how that is important for, for the state of Utah. And we appreciate the second year of having leading schools here. And we look forward to doing another year. And if there's uh, principals out there who want this opportunity, we would love for them to contact UEN and uh, get you on board for, for next year. We have you out next time. Thank you for joining us for another episode of PDTV. To learn more about our Leading Schools program, visit us online at uen.org leadership. And to sign up for more professional development, go to uen.org register.